body, because I am not an eye, would that make it any less a part of the body? Not because you say you want no part to do with your hand, it makes your hand not a part of your body. It don't work like that. Not because you say you don't like your feet, it means that your feet is not a part of your body. And that's what we do sometime in Christendom. We think when we look at the brother who is a part of the body of Christ and say, I don't like him, I'm not talking to him, it means that God has cut them off. <laughs> uh, but no, 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 no. Are you hearing me, somebody? If it was left up to man, David say I would have been dead a long time ago. Lord, I've... If it was left up to man to give you gift, to give you calling, to give you food, to give you clothing and shelter, you would have been homeless. But thanks be to God who has caused us to triumph. What does the word say, woman of God? Read. If the whole body were an eye, uh -huh. how would you hear? Or if your whole body were an ear, how would you smell anything? If everybody was like you. How the world will go wrong? Well, I don't like to talk. Well, there are people who like to talk. Well, they talk too much. Well, you don't like to talk too much. I don't like all that flashy dressing. Well, you don't have to dress flashy. But don't use a dress to bring division in the church. Don't, are you hearing me, somebody? Don't use somebody cultier a difference to bring division in the church. Are you hearing me in the house? Are you hearing me in the house? Because if we were just to be an eye walking around, I tell you. If we were just to be a leg walking around, I tell you. There'd be no communication. But the body is diverse. <laughs> and that's what make it beautiful. <laughs> that's what make it exciting. Are you hearing me, somebody? Read on quickly. But our bodies have many parts. Mm -hmm. And God has put each part just where he wants it. Exactly. You may not like the person, you may not like their style, but God saved them for a reason. God brought them into the world for a reason. And if that person was the only person in the world, he would have still sent his son to die on Calvary. So if nobody don't want to celebrate you, say I celebrate God all by myself. Isn't that what David say? He encouraged himself in the Lord. How far we reach? Verse 90. Uh-huh. How strange a body would be if mm -hmm. it only had one part. Uh-huh. Yes, there are many parts, but only one body. Mm -hmm. 21. The eye can never say to the hand, I don't need you. Mm -hmm. The head can't say to the feet, I don't need you. Just before we finish this particular verse, how could you tell a part of your body that you don't need? You wouldn't be able to function. And that's how we live. I don't live with Minister Andine like I need her. But how are we going to be strengthened? Unity is strength. But if I, I live with her, I can tell her morning, but treat her like I don't need her. <laughs> and some of us try to cover it up. We say morning, we say good night, we say hello. But in my heart, I'm saying I don't need you. And we want to know why our prayers are not being answered. We want to know why the church has gotten so cold. We want to know how come uh, the power and the fire that were rolled back in the 70s and the 80s are not around anymore. Because we got better, but we better. Oh, come on, somebody who knows what I'm talking about. A form of godliness, but denying the power. Uh, looking like church and sounding like church and acting like church. But there's no power up in the house because of division. But the devil is a liar. We're going to use the word of God to serve notice on his spirit of confusion and send him out the door. It's coming quickly. Let's come in quickly. Uh -huh. In fact, some parts of the body that seems weakest uh -huh. and least important mm. are actually the most necessary. 
I'm not saying this and my wife is not saying this, but it's being said from the word of God. And that's how we treat each other. That I am the bishop now. I am the apostle. What are you? You are the missionary. Well, you're small and you're not important. The devil is a liar. The word, my word tell me that if I'm brother, if I'm sister, if I'm deacon, if to you I'm nobody in the eyes of God. God, I'm somebody in the eyes of God, I'm important. It doesn't matter what man think, it doesn't matter what man say. What is important is what is God saying about me, is what God is saying about my situation. That's coming quickly, read on quick. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Are you hearing the word of God? Yeah. We think to heal a ministry is all oh, man. They're wasting my time. They're taking up all my time. Are you hearing me, somebody? But to heal a ministry, are you hearing me, somebody? Is reaching people in the living room that don't come to church sometimes because of our bad behavior and our bad habit. We thank God for the medium ministry of the healer. Are you hearing me, somebody that can reach the highways and byways that could reach into the bedroom and to the living room and the let that thus said the Lord. We thank God for the healer ministry. I tell you, uh, people have been calling from Canada uh, and calling from St. Vincent and saying, uh, I have seen you on television. Uh, the visit in Canada and the visit in Trinidad and what have you, and they're seeing uh, on television. Are you hearing me, somebody? So it's making people, they're making the gospel go where we have not gone. It's opening doors. Are you hearing me in the house? Uh, some of you think to heal a ministry is all that. Uh, are you hearing me, somebody? But the medium ministry is needed. Medium ministry is not just for soap opera and for you to look at a good sh you know, show on television. It's that the gospel can go through media. Are you hearing me, somebody? Read on quickly as we come in. 24. Uh -huh. Why the more honorable parts do not require this special care? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Verse 25. Uh -huh. This makes for harmony among the members mm -hmm. so that all the members care for each other. That's what's going to bring them harmony. And that's what we need. Too much rage. Too much Jamaican blood. Too much Vinci blood. Don't bring the Bajan out of me. Too much... We don't need that. In, this is a sanctuary. And when people come up in the sanctuary, they're coming for tranquility. They're coming for peace. And that's why we want to know why they don't come. Too much hezam and schism. Too much division. Oh, you're not hearing me in the house. The house of God should be a place of tranquility. A place of refuge. A place of peace. Oh, I wish I had a praise in this place. Let's, let's finish at verse 26. Read. Just have 10 more minutes. Listen to me. When you feel that you have hurt a brother or you have hurt a sister, you tell them piece of your mind. Come on, don't get distracted. Don't, 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 don't let the word get distracted. You need this word. Don't get it distracted. Don't get it distracted. Don't get it distracted. When you feel you hurt somebody, This word might just be from you. Don't get distracted. It might just be for you. You feel you hurt somebody. You feel you tell them piece of your mind. You feel you tell them as it is. And you leave them hurt and you go home feeling like I let it out. You should have let it out in prayer. Because you feel you accomplished something. But you grieve the spirit of God. And not knives. Purpose, First Corinthians 1, diversity, First Corinthians 12, humidity. You ask the question, 
How do I become united? By being humble. Not by my word, but by the word of God. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. What does it say? Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Is there any encouragement from being a part of the body of Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? When you listen to a Christian talk, and I hope you can hear me today, don't feel there's not mature believers. They're just telling it to Jesus. They're not telling it to you. But a mature believer, know if you're carnal or if you're, you're mature, you know. They're not telling you anything because they're that mature. But when you hear some Christians have a conversation, no life, no peace, no joy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Read from the beginning again. Read. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Is there any encouragement? Uh huh. Any comfort from His love? Any comfort? Any fellowship together in the Spirit? Any fellowship together in the Spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Are your heart tender and compassionate as believers? Uh huh. Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other. Loving one another and working together with one mind and one spirit. Verse 3. Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. And that's what the church has become. Be we have become a selfish people. We have become a people that just want to impress. But the word of God says, be humble. Be humble. Read on. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Be humble. What is humility? Thinking of others. Thinking of the next man of God as better than yourself. Thinking of the next woman of God as better than yourself. Thinking of the next musician as better than yourself. Thinking of your spouse as better than yourself. Thinking as the people of God in the house. Would that bring us in a level of unity? Read on quickly. But don't look out only for your own interest. Don't look out for you to make it in ministry and for you to make it in this and look out for your own interest. But read on. But take an interest in others. But take an interest. You and I have a little problem. Let me get to the bottom of what's really hurting you. You said it's because I passed you straight, but I don't think it's that. It might have just been how your father treated you. It might have just been how you were treated as a little child. It, was, it may have just been the fact that you may have been squeezed. You may have been a middle child, and it has affected you. And now that you come up in the church, you have come with that burden, and you have come dragging that hurt. And instead of I minister strength to you because of whatever abuse you might have been through or went through, I begin to attack you back. Oh, I said morning, but he just didn't hear. The devil is a liar. We are here to minister healing. We are here to minister strength. We are here to minister comfort. I wish I had a praise in here. Which verse are we at? Verse 5. Uh-huh. You must have the same attitude that Christ Jesus had. Uh-huh. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Although he was God, because John put it like this, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the same word picked up flesh. As much as he was God, when he came on assignment on the earth, he took off his God garment, and he picked up humanity. He picked up humility. Oh, I wish I had somebody who knew what I was talking about in here. He humbled himself. He was right. But he took wrong. And sometime in church they accuse you of something you didn't do. But you so want to defend self. Ah, oh, but if you only stand firm. 
and say I am who I am by the grace of God not by what nobody say tomorrow somebody will call you great and somebody will say you're really a woman or man of God because when you were going through all what you were going through you stood fail, firm you stood sure on the word of God oh but you always want to fight your battle huh? are you hearing me in the house read on quickly uh -huh. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. Uh -huh. He took the humble position of a slave mm -hmm. and was born as a human being mm -hmm. when he appeared in human form. Verse, Verse 8. He humbled himself in obedience to God. He humbled himself in obedience to God. The word of God is here for us to humble ourselves. But we so rude and rebellious and own way and nobody can tell we nothing and we full of arrogance and we want to be ignorant and we feel it's something and we talk in conversation and say the better leave me alone I's an ignorant man but but ignoramos is no excuse because ignorant simply come from the word to ignore so nobody's winking at you because you're ignoring humility you are ignoring the being Christ-like. That's all it is. Your ignorance is not no chip on your shoulder. You're just ignoring Christ in your life. Read on quickly. He humbled himself in obedience to God uh -huh. and died a criminal's death on a cross. Verse 9. Therefore, God elevated him to the place of highest honor. Because of his humility. Verse 10. That at, the at, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. When you walk in obedience to God's word, there comes a fifth season. This was Jesus' fifth season. And I know you're familiar with summer and winter and fall and spring, but there's a fifth season. When you walk in obedience to the word of God, there's a season called Jew season. And a lot of you are not experiencing your Jew season because you're walking in rebellion and bitterness and in your own way. Are you hearing me, somebody? Humility. What is going to bind us together when we have humbled ourselves? Peace. The bond of peace. In Ephesians chapter 4, the bond of peace. Not just peace, but love. And we're going to read that one, Colossians 3, verse 12. The bond of love, not bitterness. What prevents us from being united and what prevents our prayer from being answered is bitterness and unforgiveness. Are you hearing me, somebody? And, 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 and are you hearing me, somebody? Bitterness, unforgiveness, and grudge prevents us from going in. What ought we ought to walk in in order to walk in this unity as I close. Colossians chapter 3, verse 12. And we're going to close here. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, you must clothe yourself with tender-hearted mercy, Sen kindness. Uh -huh. Since God has chosen you to be the people that he love, you must clothe yourself with tender heart. When I come up in a room with a lot of tender heart people, I'm not going to be hurt. I'm not going to be snubbed at. It's not animals. I grew up with my, my grandmother always, when she will see things on the television, she will say, man, these people is animals. Remember one time when, when the bomb the world trade, a uh, 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 root father said to me, if you had loosed 10 lions in the world trade, they wouldn't have done the damage that these men have done. And then, you know, it was just like saying to me, until my wife began to watch the animal planet, and I see how animals live, then I understood what my grandmother and pastor was saying when they say, is animal living? When I come up, the people of God, it should be my safe haven. It should be a place that I can come broken 
and leave healed. It should be the room that I can come crying and leave with joy. Not my business being the gossip of the week, the gossip of the day, but that when somebody hears that I'm broken, that they will love me. Read it over again from verse 12. Since God chose you to be the holy people he loves, uh -huh. you must clothe yourselves with tender hearted mercy. Clothe yourself with tender hearted mercy and kindness. And kindness. Humility. And humility. Gentleness. And gentleness. And patience. And patience. Which verse are you at? Verse 30 now. Mm hmm. Make allowance for each other's faults. Make allowance for each other's faults. And forgive anyone who offends you. And forgive. When I got married, I got married expecting faults. Give, a, give room for each other's faults. Because we were born in sin and shaped in the... Read on quickly. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. Uh -huh. 14. Uh -huh. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds us all together in perfect harmony. Verse 15. And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. Let's stand in the presence of God. I pray that this exhortation would have been of some strength, some nourishment, some impartation to you. Are you hearing me, somebody? With your head bowed and your eye closed, God, we come before your throne at this time. We just receive your word. And we pray, oh God, that this word will take root in the, in the people's, the hearer's heart. That they be transformed to be better people and not bitter. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. Put your hands together as Minister Andy comes back to the microphone. Praise the Lord. Just point to the man of God and say, Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. And this is what the Holy Spirit wants us to know and wants to remind us of saints. We cannot have the word without having an invitation. Is there anyone who's here and don't know the Lord as their personal Savior? You can show by lifting your hand. Praise God. I see that we all are saints, but I encourage you. I encourage you to be encouraged in the Lord. Read the word of God. Everybody can come in, continue to be a supporter of TV, the, TV, the television ministry. We want to thank the viewers that are watching the Healer Television Ministry for the past 10 years. We want to tell you thank you from the bottom of our heart, from Minister Leslie and Joan Richards for your support and your prayer. Continue to support the Healer Television Ministry. We want to give you an opportunity to allow Jesus to come into your heart and into your life. We want to tell you that all the problems of your life can be solved with this one name, just a mention of the name Jesus. I encourage you to be a part of the healer ministry in any way you see fit, in any way you can be a blessing to this ministry, whether it's with your gifts, your talents, whatever it might be. We look forward for your continued prayer, present and financial support. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. The healer ministry can be reached at T, the letter T, Tehila at yahoo.com.